Hold on a sec. Much better. Sup guys, Cameron from Artigan here, coming to you from the studio that is my dorm room, like usual, and I've got some updates for you. So for this week's video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys a quick update about what's been going on, um, because Chris is currently in Kenya. If you didn't know, uh, you've probably seen tons of photos on our Facebook or Instagram or any of our social media channels, Twitter, you name it, we got it, follow them all. But yeah, so Chris has been in Kenya and he's been getting tons of great footage and content, meeting with the actual people that make the products in Kenya and doing so many great things. He's got loads of footage, but because he is still in Kenya, his Wi-Fi is not very good. So he hasn't been able to send me any of the footage uh, to edit. So for this week's video, just doing a quick update because we are dedicated to that Sunday 9 a.m. upload every week to give you guys something. So next week, when they return from Kenya, we'll be giving you some great footage from Africa, and they are also bringing back a lot of orders and exciting information about the company. And one thing that Chris messaged me was to be ready for greatness, and he sent this picture. So be ready for greatness. That is a really sweet suit combo right there, the pants, the jacket, that Maasai uh, pattern. That's awesome. So I'm pretty excited. Um, have been in too much communication because uh, he's in Africa, but I can't. I'm pretty excited. Also, some sad news from the track and field world. Last week at the Milrose Games in New York City, Jamaican distance athlete Kemoy Campbell, a legend, Olympian, and had some of the greatest range of any distance runner running really fast 800 time, really fast 10K time and everything in between. Um, last weekend he was running as a pace setter, a rabbit during the 3K and collapsed 1000 meters in and is still in the hospital. He was in a coma for 48 hours and his family has created a GoFundMe to help pay for the medical ex expenses. And we also wanna help um, in any way that we can so we do have a bracelet that we did make for Kemoy and it is on the way to him, but we are also going to be selling more of those same bracelets to you guys and anyone who wants them. And hundred percent of those profits are going to go to the GoFundMe that his family created. And those bracelets will be available through pre-order from February 22nd up until March 1st. And they should be expected to arrive to the customer by May 1st. And also, we're going to put the link to the GoFundMe in the description so you guys can donate if you want to. Um, but yeah, anything helps, and we just want to be there, support a fellow supporter and track athlete. All right, so that about sums everything up from the week. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to be putting up some of the social media posts from the previous week just so you can see what's been going on. Lots of stuff from Kenya, and I can't wait to get the footage from Chris so we can pump out some content on the YouTube channel. So please subscribe and stay tuned for that. There will be a lot more exciting stuff next week. We appreciate all of the support. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on all the social media channels. Um, everything helps and yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. Cameron Kinsey signing off. See you guys next time.